Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome back to Planet Coaster. So, I'm starting out this video with a little bit of a time lapse. I wanted to at least get a section of this new side of our park done. Um, I wanted to get a little bit of it decorated so that I could have an idea in my mind of what I wanted to do with it. And it's a good thing that I did, too, because I ran into a lot of complications with having the path already built and the merry-go-round there. What I really wanted to do was put this stone roof underneath the path, but I had to mess around with leveling the ground and I just removed the path completely and that way when I go back to put the path in, you can hold down shift while you left click up and, and drag your path up and down so that you don't have to put it level flush with the ground. All of these pieces here that I'm working on, these are all like separate buildings. Since you can't actually move wall and roof pieces within a building grid freely like I'm doing here, what I did was I would make a little section of pieces together as one building and then just duplicate that building and then you can manually position it the way that you want to. So I'm gonna end up with a whole lot of buildings but at least that way I can have complete control over what I'm doing and I don't know why but I never actually thought of doing that until this episode like all this time my mind has been so closed off to the idea that oh I can only put these walls in this spot I can't make anything angled or anything like that in fact I think somebody even asked me on my uh, 10 things I wish I knew video it, how to make an angled wall and so now I need to go back and Let that person know that I found a workaround for that Which many of you probably already knew all of that anyway But I did not so I was pretty pleased with figuring that out because now I can make this nice looking curved wall around the river, you know, you're still a little bit limited with the width of the actual wall pieces, but I think on a scale this large, it's going to end up looking just fine. I'll give you a word of advice here. Don't do what I am doing right now, and that is actually making a strip of these bricks and duplicating each, built, each strip as their own separate building. And the reason I started out doing this is because I wanted to offset the pieces a little bit to give the bricks a bit of variety, but they don't really need to do that because I'm going to be having scenery and paths and whatnot on top of this all eventually anyway, so that wasn't important and you can see that I'm like struggling ridiculously with trying to line up all of these rows of the wall pieces and <laughs> I'm just gonna skip to where I actually figured out that this was a stupid idea I even went through the effort of making a blueprint of a large piece of the wall sections and uh, I don't know I just wasn't thinking clearly at all you can see my aha moment here where I'm like, wait, I can just duplicate these pieces and line it all up really fast. What am I doing here? Also, why am I doing this in big long rows instead of making one just giant building with all of these? And now you can see it's really easy to just select a whole bunch of the wall pieces and duplicate them within the same building and that way they will just snap to the walls as opposed to me having to go in there and manually do it like I was doing before, like a complete moron. So now that I've gotten that figured out, I just decided to kind of make a big area. I'm not filling up the whole thing just yet, partially because you can see my funds are running low pretty quickly with adding all of these roof pieces and leveling out the land. So I'm just doing enough 
to put our hot dog stand back kind of in the same place that it was, and also throw merry-go-round back in while having surrounding areas with this brick texture, and that way I can place the path down where I want to. I turned off the railings because the way I was doing this where I held down shift in order to raise the path slightly above the roof, um, that is technically considered above ground. So if you have the railings above ground turned on, you will get the railings on the ground level as well, or what appears to be the ground level anyway. So that's why I did that. Now I'm just smoothing out the terrain there. You can see that little option down there on the bottom right that says scenery lock. And if you uncheck that box, it will allow you to manipulate the terrain through the wall like I'm doing. If you have that checked on, it won't let you touch any of the ground that is nearby. Alright guys, uh, it looks like that's all we're going to be able to make right now. I know it looks really awful, but eventually it's gonna look cool and we're gonna have this pretty little wall going all the way around the edge, kind of like you see in some European towns, but for now uh, we don't have enough money for that, so I wanted to make sure to get some people over here and I need to rebuild my carousel because... Oh dear. Because uh, I had to move it in order to put all that scenery down and now that I think of it, I wonder, can you move rides after they've been built? I don't know. I guess we'll place this one and find out. I never tried it because I've just never been able to, so I figured that was a thing. Oh, don't tell me we're gonna have trouble building this here? No? Okay. That'll be alright. Oh. Okay, well, that's a bummer. I'd really like to make this flush with the ceiling tiles, but it doesn't appear that's something we're gonna be able to do. I really hope I'm not gonna regret this making it the way I did. Oh, look at that! That's so cute! No regrets! Because that's the cutest thing I've ever seen! It just connects it with little stairs. Oh, that's so adorable! <laughs> Okay, well, let's make sure our queue is going to do the same thing. I already forgot what color our queue paths are in this park. The wooden one, huh? You know... I might spice things up a bit over on this side. And use the black queue, and I want to put on supports, or railings, rather for... Ah. I don't really like those railings. They're not very... They're too futuristic looking for what we want in this park. I remember now why I went with the wooden queue. Well, actually, those all look the same, don't they? Oh, that's cool! I like that one! Will that be too many stones clashing with each other? Probably. But I really like that railing. That's super cute. Way better than all these other ones. Ooh. I wish I could select which railing I wanted. Maybe we'll do the brick. Just... Wait, oh. I guess... Well, they're both kind of brick it. Brick. Brick it. Brickish. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Alright, we'll just do this guy. And hopefully they'll. Whoa. Nope. Not gonna do that. Go back to our eight here. Ah! 
Okay. Now we can finish hooking up this queue. There we go. Maybe? I don't want a super long one for our merry-go-round because, let's be honest, a lot of people don't give a crap about the carousel. There we go. Alright, let's have a look at what's going on in the rest of our park. How are people feeling? Sick? Queues are full? Milkshake too busy? Alright. Let's have a look at where people are throwing up. If we can find it. I kind of miss in the previous roller coaster games where you had all of those filters you could put on or off that made it so that, like, your people would turn invisible and you could see the vomit better. It doesn't seem to be a thing we can do. Let's see, only one spot so far. I don't know what the big deal is. Hmm. Well, yo, whiners! I don't even see anything! What are you bitching about? Let's... Okay, can I not... Hmm. Ew, I stepped in sick. Where'd it go? Ah! I can't go to it, huh? Fine. That's annoying. Alright, well let's check out what our finances are doing. We sure spent a heck of a lot of money on scenery, construction costs rather. Wow, $5,000 on that roof-ish slash ground. And our profit is actually doing fairly well. Let's see if we can do another research. What are we in need of? Oof. Roller coasters. Most definitely. Because we still have a few of these rides left we can build, right? Four, five. One, two, three, four, or five. Oh, not a lot. But. I want to research a roller coaster because this is Planet Coaster after all. Oops, not marketing. Oh, hey! I guess we already did some research that I totally forgot about. Cool! Hammer swing! Alright. I don't know why this one has a little red dot against it. Does that mean it was my last one researched? I'm not sure. What do we have for shops and facilities? Milkshakes, hot dog, mm, okay. Looks like we should get a variety in that stuff. We'll do a drink. Let's see, 30 days? Yeah, that's fine, okay. And how about another roller coaster. I don't know what free spinning exactly means, but ah, this was probably too much money we're spending on that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I wonder how much this roof decoration affects our scenery. Wow! 52%? Okay, that's honestly kind of cheap that just throwing roof tiles down on the ground increases the scenery rating. Oh, well, that's a little silly, but oh well. We should definitely throw down some benches, though. Is this the one we've been using? I think so. I'm not entirely sure. What's the matter with this? I'm not entirely sure people actually use the benches. I haven't really seen them use them. But maybe they do it in spirit. I don't know. Brain Scrambler has a long queue time. 
does it now. Okay, so it's a nine minute queue. I wonder if we up the scenery, will they be happier hanging out in the queue line? Let's give that a try. Except I don't really have room to do anything super cool. Q senior rating 24%. Alright, maybe we'll just put in some flowers. Ah, uh, not that. I could have sworn I saw flowers somewhere. Hey, look at that! Our park rating went up by 75. Awesome. Alright, well this is really a half-assed job of making this queue more tolerable. But hey, it worked a little bit. Oh man, we really need to do something about this path though. Uh, <laughs> that is quite the traffic jam. What I wouldn't give to build a roller coaster right here and knock all these people down right now. Okay, we're gonna pause this while we do this because we're gonna lose all these people in the queue probably. But this is causing some serious problems because these people are trying to get places and give me money and they can't do that because the path is too crowded. I'd rather you have a nice looking end there. Hmm. It's really ugly. Uh, that is one thing I don't care for a little bit. Oh, hey, that worked. Oh, all right. So, is that going to be enough? No, that's right, because I wanted it to connect over here. Arg. All right, this tree is gonna have to ski daddle out of here. Oh no! Well, <laughs> we just spent all of our money on trying to fix this path issue. I did not realize how much it costs to do crap like that. So, do we have enough? Yay! Just barely! Okay, well, we'll see if that does anything for our traffic jam. It'll be hard to tell for a little bit, because it'll take people a few minutes to get back in there and crowd up those sidewalks again. Put our little trees back. Are you the one I moved? I think so. It doesn't really matter anyway. All right! Let's see what is going on on this side. Everybody's having a nice little peaceful time over here by our brand new carousel. Oh, look at all these cute little cats. I love them. Oh, they're so adorable. Aw, what are they thinking? Are they having a good time? You're hungry. You're almost happy. Oh, you got a lot of money left, spoiled kid. Yeah, there you go. Take care of that empty stomach of yours. All right. Okay, guys, I think that about wraps it up for this episode. Not a huge amount of progress over here, although I spent a heck of a lot of time doing this. I can't wait till we have, like, enough money to extend this while out. Wait, what happened? That is not the color I remembered our wall being. Is that because it was nighttime when I was looking at it? Huh. No. Yeah, okay. Maybe it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon when I had that pause. I should probably pay more attention to what time of day it is that I am building stuff in and choosing colors for. Well, that's fine. We can always change that later if we want. I kind of liked that it looked like sort of a dark 
reddish tint in contrast to all this ugly gray that we have going on. I promise we'll take care of that and make this area look really, really pretty. But for the meantime, that is all for today. Thank you so much for joining me, guys, in this series. If there's anything you want me to build or attempt to build, or you have a specific roller coaster you'd like to see me get researched, please feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay foxy, everyone.